Okay, we're ready for another segment of the TriMet board meeting. Let's recap what we've heard so far. We heard three public testimonies, two condemning TriMet management for not allowing the disabled to use their trikes on the system. And Sam the man said, I can't give you any guarantees because he's the exalted ruler of the TriMet and the citizens don't get a, a voice. And there was one, don't destroy Hollywood. And we, and so that was, you know, they destroyed Hollywood, but there was one last attempt to get the puppets to uh, avoid that. Of course, I knew that was never going to happen. I knew immediately that they were never going to stop that pork barrel because that's, the, you know, TriMet is a development agency. I mean, they hardly provide transit nowadays, but they certainly do provide development. That that part, they're a total success on. Okay, then we had Sammy's report, which was just nothing. Oh, actually, the board reports were actually the best part of the meeting so far, the board reports. Very, very good information. All of a sudden, the TriMet board members that attend these different committees are doing good reports that have actual information in them. Um, previously, that wasn't the case. Then we had Sam's general manager report, which was nothing but fluff. He talked about the... Um, how many, how many people are using HOP and uh, the wonderful new website, which we're getting feedback on the Twitter is not so wonderful. And then we had the first agenda item, which was uh, hiring, giving $3.5 million to some private contractor to redesign the Hollywood Transit Center because TriMet staff doesn't do anything apparently, because they always contract that out. So $3.5 million just to redesign, like, the new bus stop, the bridge. I mean, a bunch of minor shit. But when, when it comes to the pork barrels, money is no object, as we know. And now we are on this next part here. And I've, I've prepared myself a little bit better today. I've actually listened to what they were going to talk about, so I was be more prepared. This is very interesting. They're moving from Harrison Square, which they haven't been at. Nobody's been there for the last two years. And they're going, they're part of their moving together. It, it, the last, the lease at Harrison Square was part of a project called Moving Together. Okay, now let me, let me talk about this for a minute because Previous to the McFarland administration, and that's where the big shift at TriMet occurred, where the elites of TriMet solidified their eliteness. Okay, he, he previously the management was all in Center Street, but the executive class, the elite executive class, decided they wanted to move out of that place. So they went to Harrison and paid all of that. And now they're paying all that rent for that place that could have been used for service. One of the more blatant examples of bad public policy planning as far as I'm concerned. As part of moving together, TriMet renovated Center Street as operational headquarters. Yeah. At this time, TriMet did extensive work to understand and implement a functional work group. Yeah, a bunch of baloney. TriMet established a space planning steering committee. <laughs> it's just one committee after another with this bureaucracy here. To oversee and control space planning throughout the district. You see how they bureaucratize everything? Everything is bureaucratized. Everything has its own director, its own assistant director, its own coordinator, its own clerical staff. There's just this giant bureaucracy. Thank God the voters voted no on the uh, Southwest Corridor, which is unusual because people in the Northwest love to give their money to the state. They're, they're that ignorant that they vote yes to raise their own taxes. That's how stupid people are. At that time, both Center Street and Harrison were at capacity. Now, I want to remind you here that 
TriMet ridership has been flat for over a decade. The only thing that's expanding here is the bureaucracy. Okay, it's the service is going nowhere. The bureaucracy is expanding constantly. Uh, the SPSC established Office Search Work Group <laughs> to explore options and TriMet retain Cushman and Wakefield as its broker. Throw out that port. Everybody's getting a little piece of the port. They're, they got money coming out of their ears over there. You wouldn't believe how much money they're just rolling in money. But they won't change the salary structure for the people that actually do the work. Okay, they're, they're corrupt. They're a criminal organization. The executive class uses this as their own little personal budget to do things for themselves. It's pretty bad, man, as far as I'm concerned. In March 2019, criteria for the next office location was established, vetted and approved by the committee and TriMet executive director team, including the exalted general manager. All hail the TriMet general manager. The criteria for the next administration, the building should be well served by mass transit located near a vibrant, the word vibrant neighborhood. Promote transit-oriented development. Yes, of course, because they are a development agency. They are not a transit agency. They are a develop development agency posing as a transit agency. TriMet then developed a timeline for the decision whether to build, buy, or lease. Potential property options were periodically brought to the committee and general manager executive directors and review. In the end, TriMet reviewed and vetted 27 political a potential locations, and then they selected one main place, and it's only going to cost them thirty-three million dollars, folks. <laughs> thirty-three million dollars out of your payroll tax that could have been used for actual services on the ground, but thanks to McFarland, they've overly bureaucratized. This is this is a abomination, as far as I'm concerned. It they should have just left the, everybody in place where they were. There was, no, there was nothing wrong, okay? Remember, TriMet has not increased service at all. So why did they increase their bureaucracy? This is $33 million just wasted on office space for the, for the parasite class. <clears throat> all right, well, let's listen to their fucking, let's listen to how they spin this. Office space at 101 Southwest Main Street in Portland. Mr. General Manager. Uh, thank, thank you, President Simmons. Simmons. Uh, members of the board, this next resolution came before you. Uh, request authorization of a lease for space for TriMet's administrative offices. The agency's 10-year lease at Harrison Square expires in June. Oh, by the way, Harrison Square was owned by... Saltzman, he was a he was a city councilor. I mean, it's all it's all in the family crony capitalism of next year. As we have reached capacity at Harrison Square and previously at Center Street, there has been extensive study conducted. So now, what do you mean you've reached capacity? Now, let's think about it, folks. No service has been added on the ground. No, none. Service levels are exactly the same that they've always been for the last 10 days. They, they expanded a little bit when they were bragging about the greatest service expansion in TriMet history. Well, that went away without any public hearings. So, I mean, there's been no expansion of the service. The only thing, I'm going to say it again, the only thing that's expanding is this bureaucracy, okay? And it's criminal. It's criminal as far as I'm concerned how they're running this place. Agency wide to fully access TriMet's needs uh, regarding capacity and functionality for the administrative section of TriMet. For the, uh, the new bill in the House, the TriMet's Paris administrative States. headquarters, and was selected basically largely on four criteria. That is easy access by transit. The second is located at or near a vibrant neighborhood. A vibrant neighborhood. The third is potentially be linked to transit-oriented development. And the last is seismically resilient. Um, TriMet considered 27 locations, 
before selecting one main place in downtown Portland. In addition to aligning closely with the search criteria, the property also presented Tromac with significant economic benefits, both in the current period and the projected post pandemic Significant economic benefits. I, I don't see any economic benefits. It's $33 million that could be used for service. Pandemic climates. The lease would also reserve TriMet space in downtown Portland, the historic heart of our region that we support and want to help build and return it to vibrancy. Um, the lease is for a term of 11 years and two months at a total cost of approximately $33 million. Ridiculous. Annual payments will be included in TriMet's zero base budget for lease facilities, especially in light of keeping timelines as well as taking advantage of favorable market conditions. I ask for your approval. Favorable market conditions? What are you talking about? The market's at all-time highs right now. This is not a time to be entering into leases. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I mean, is anybody, probably nobody's leasing, nobody's going to downtown. So maybe there is a point to be made for that. But, I, you know, I'll, I'll always maintain this. Should They should have never moved out of the original Center Street. Everything was fine, but they, you know, McFarlane wanted a, he wanted to be a, a king and he didn't want to associate with any more employees because he knew what, he knew that he was destroying the uh, the contract. He was destroying the health insurance. He destroyed the operators. And so I imagine that it was in his thinking, I better get the hell away from these operators because they hate me and they did hate him. And they still hate him, the ones that are, were around. He was a nightmare. He was a man that destroyed TriMet. And, and this is why TriMet is shit now. A capital projects guy went all the way in capital projects and just forgot about bus service completely. Thank you. And That's it should also be noted that the board has had an opportunity to um, review the decision-making process at length. And um, so is there a motion to approve this resolution? So moved. Thank you, Director Gonzalez. Is there a second? I second, Director Kim. Thank you, Director Kim. It's been moved and seconded. Does anyone wish to make a comment before we vote? This is Director Kim. I think we're getting a heck of a deal. Congratulations to the real estate team and all of the folks who have their hands on this. Um, I'm glad. Yeah, here we go. Just key up the fucking, let's key up the chair. You know, let's key up the chair for this stuff because, you know, we need to have the chair because everything is great. You did a great job. Everybody loves it. Where's the chair? Get them all. Glad we're getting great value um, and utilizing our resources well, but at the same time, um, getting all of our staff that well-deserved nice space that, that will allow for better productivity. Yeah, thank you. Yes. They're not even in the office, you fucking idiot. They're at home. Jesus, what a waste. You stupid fools. You sock puppets. Why don't you ask about that? When are you going to come back to the office? Are you ever going to come back to the office? Does anyone wish else to make a comment? Director Bauman has her hand raised. Director Bauman. Thank you. Yes, I want to echo that this is a, a, a very uh, favorable um, lease uh, from a financial standpoint, but I also want to um, point out that uh, it's very encouraging that TriMet is committing to staying in downtown Portland and contributing to the re revitalization. But where the hell would they go? I mean, of course they're going to stay in downtown. What are they going to do? Go to Milwaukee? Go to Clackamas County, go to Beaverton. Why don't they just move back to Center Street and save $33 million? For that reason, I strongly support this. Move. Of course you do. You're a sock puppet. Thank you. Any other comments? Yes, Director Wayne has her hand raised. Director Wayne. 
Thank you. I'm finally figuring out the raising hand um, feature. Um, I will just tack on to what all the directors have already shared and just say that I think this is a great um, this is a great move, literally. And um, also, um, I'm really excited about the community engagement and um, the community engagement. events um, with community. The community engagement. What community engagement? What are you What are you sock puppets puppeting? The community engagement. I don't remember hearing anything about this until the resolution showed up. ...and different organizations that will be able to continue to do in this space, um, of course, after um, um, uh, the pandemic uh, subsides a little bit. So um, I'm, I'm excited to sort of um, just see the different uh, uh, utilization and, and features of this space to benefit um, not only our employees, of course, but also community members who... Um, come to our agency for what can, your goddamn office is locked. You can't even go see anybody in the administrative offices without a goddamn hall pass. You know, they're a locked building. You can't walk in there. And I'm sure it will continue to be that way when they move. Okay. You can't get in to see the TriMet elites. They are in behind a locked door. So this is, you're, you're just bullshitting us, Kathy, and we know it. Lots, lots of different, different meetings. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Director Wayne. That's it. Uh, Director Gonzalez, did you have a comment? Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, President Simmons. I simply wanted to express my gratitude to the team that explored these uh, these possibilities, that went out and looked for spaces, and did the tough work of uh, analyzing the pros and cons of, of you know, where to... <laughs> Oh, Ozzy. Yeah, they they had it tough. The, whoever whoever was on that team analyzing the details of this must have been really stressful for them. Thank God that, they, wow, they're the nicest, greatest bunch of people ever. Sign the next lease. Um, so thanks a lot for your due diligence and doing the hard work to bring this hard work. Um, this yeah. possibility forward. Hard work, the hard and, work, the hard work. Why don't you drive a bus if you want hard work, okay? Don't be giving us, oh, they work so hard. Um, you know, I want to say thanks to the Harrison Square Group for providing us um, the space that we have had. I'm, I'm going to miss navigating some of that building, but I'm sure that, you know, with with new moves and new opportunities come some some fresh changes. So I look forward to seeing how how the new space gets uh, designed and occupied and um, and how it helps shape the way China works together. So oh, thanks man. a lot to everyone that did this work. And, oh. and, well, you know, kudos to all of those for the work that still is coming ahead. There's a lot that's going to happen between now and the moon. Thank you. Any further comments? No additional comments at this time. So um, we're going to make the vote then. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Is anyone opposed? The motion carries. Well, that went exactly as planned. All the sock puppets lined up and congratulated everybody as they always do. They said it's the best thing that ever happened and I will maintain that this is money that should not be wasted. These executive staff should have stayed put. But no, they had to create their own little world away from the drivers and the rest of the actual people that do the world, that do, that do the job and are out in the world. It's a disgrace over and out.